Chess friends, how are you? The new Stockfish version is a legendary chess guy. Today I will show you the game 2 between Alpha 0 as white versus Stockfish 16 as black game where Alpha sacrificed his rook against me. If you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success, so let's go, Alpha started the game with d4, we have knight f6 c4, I played g6 instead of playing d5 or e6, so knight c3 bishop here e4 by Alpha, making 3 pawn army in the center, so d6 with an idea of playing c5, bishop e2 and Alpha's plan is to clear to play f4, making a great pawn structure, castle bishop g5, h6. You shouldn't take the knight because the knight isn't as worthy as the dark square bishop, this is the only piece who can attack in the king side, so alpha move back his bishop, knight d7, here alpha shows to play f3, making a pawn chain, you might think he will push the kingside pawns but pushing the kingside pawns is not beneficial all the time, knight h3 may come so a6, queen d2 to make it queen bishop battery to target the pawn, I could play king h7 to protect the pawn, but I go for the danger level. Takes and takes and the bishop win up the free pawn, I make my another danger level move b5, if you take the pawn then after takes, if knight takes pawn happen then the super brilliant move will come, knight b3, knight for a rook and you will lose the game, so in this position we have h4, he is threatening to play h5, if you take it then white will do bishop exchanges, then white will play the killer move g4, deflecting the knight from this rook file to seize it. Then queen h6 check, queen h8 check will be in mate in this two squares king jail. So in this position I played knight h5 first to stop the pawn move and knight g3 is the next threat. So alpha responded with b4, this b4 move open ups the diagonal for me which is why I moved the bishop on e5, 200 elo rated player would take the knight, let me show you the variation, then b6 do target the knight, knight here bishop takes, bishop takes rook and you know what. Nothing special here, the game might be a draw, so we have g4 by alpha to kick out the knight, both knights and the rook is under attack so what should I do next? Yes you right, I go for an another danger level, knight a6 and I am threatening to take the knight, so after takes I tried to save the knight first, rook h3 bishop takes rook, rook takes g3 pawn takes knight, alright, alpha 0 didn't take the rook, because he want to create pressure in my kingside with his bishop, this is beyond your imagination so don't try to think about it in your small mud mind, knight h3 rook e8 h5, if you take the pawn then after takes, you have to move the king. Bishop f8 and this is coming, takes and it will be a checkmate, so back to the position, we have rook b8 king here, e6 knight backs queen to f6 with a threat of bishop c3, takes takes, and look at the d pawn, would you like to take it? If you take the pawn, with a rook threat, then bishop e5 will kill your position, you will lose the rook and the game, so back to the position, we have rook h3 to target the d-pawn, so d6, and you shouldn't do center exchanges because the files will be wide open and don't forget that you are down a material, so a3, a5 to open the b-file, if you take the pawn then bishop a6 will come, you may ask, where is the attack stockfish? Let me capture the pawn, here we go, rook b2, Queen here rook takes e2, bishop want to make a discover check and your queen is under attack at the same time, no matter what will you play you will lose the game, if queen b6 happen, try to secure the queen, then after takes, king takes, bishop d4 check will fork your queen and king, so chess friends, if you enjoy and learn from my contents then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, so back to the position, we have e5 to sacrifice the pawn. Bishop takes pawn, b5 bishop d7 king g2 rook b7 and after some moves later, we have pawn takes c4, if you dare to take the pawn with bishop, let me show you the variation, then after takes takes rook takes bishop, rook here queen f7 rook slides rook f8, this will target this so queen e2 will be played, then rook b2 will kill your position, queen d1 rook b3 to target it, if you try to save your bishop then the f3 pawn will be fall, the knight is under attack. If knight d3 then after check king here queen h7 check will be mate, game will be complete here so back to the position, alpha 0 knows the variation because he sharped his brain by watching my daily videos, so we have f4, bishop runs to a8, bishop f3 to target the rook, 
If you try to save the rook for example rook e8 then alpha will simply win the bishop, if rook c7 happen then d6 will destroy your position, which is why I decided to play bishop c8 to protect it. Now you shouldn't take the rook because the diagonal will be open for my light bishop, so b6 rook d7 queen slides and we have bishop exchanges, g5, if you take the pawn let me show you the variation, then queen takes g6 will kill your position, king f8 rook h7 and this is coming, you cannot play queen e5 to protect it because queen f7 is also playable, if rook d8 then queen g7 check and it will be a mate on e7, so back to the position, we have queen f5 to block the diagonal. You shouldn't take the queen let me show you the variation, I have a pass pawn and I have a rook for your bishop, that means that I will completely win the game, so it's important to keep your queen in the game. It's a totally drawable position, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.